Hey everybody, Mike Ciparini here from Chippers Island Adventures and I'm here at the New England Camping Exposition in Boston, Mass. Hey, Mike Ciparini here with Chippers Island Adventures and I'm at the New England Camping Expo here in Boston and I'm standing here with the Flex Armor representative Jim. Jim. Bunboy. And he's going to tell us a little bit about Flex Armor. So hey, folks. let's have it. Hi folks, my name's Jim. I own New England RV Roof. We are the authorized Flex Armor Application Center for New England. What we do is we provide a guaranteed leak-proof roof, front to back, side to side, creating a seamless monolithic roof with a lifetime guarantee and a transferable guarantee as the warranty is registered to the campus VIN. Okay. So, Jim, when you put this roof on, generally, how long does it take? It's normally two and a half days to three days to, when I start a job to complete it. So we're doing a couple a week. Uh, we do have fill-ins. Yeah. I think the key thing is we do it all year long, and even if we have to do it in the camping season, yeah. you're not going to be waiting two or three months at a dealer for something to get done. We get you in and out, and then you can enjoy the rest of the camping season. So basically what you're telling me is a max of about three days, and you try to make it as painless as possible yep. for the RV yep. owner. As you know, a lot of RV dealerships, whenever you get something fixed, they say bring your rig down on such and such a day, and you end up six weeks later calling them to say, hey, how's my uh, repair doing? Well, Jim here says that he puts you in, they get on it, and they want to get you out on back out on the road as soon as possible, which is no long than three days or 72 hours. Right. And, and it's important because my partner and I, we're both active RVers. Okay. We go through everything everyone else does. Right. We both have our camping needs. Right. I have a seasonal site. Right. We want to get out there just as much as anyone so else. So this is an RV roof system that not only does he install them, but he uses it and he's a camper. Yep. So he, he knows, he feels our pain, so to speak. Yep. So we have a little example, right? Okay, so here's, look, this is the thickness of what goes on, correct? Yep. So just looking at my finger, you can see how thick that is. This will give you folks a, another, this is the Flex Armor roof. This is TPO vinyl. This is EPDM rubber. Okay, EPDM rubber is nothing. And we're going to skip right over to the Flex Armor. <laughs> look at that. That is significant. And... I overheard Jim say a little bit ago, it's 3 sixteenths of an inch, or 187 mils. 187 mils. 3 sixteenths of an inch is very nearly a quarter of an inch. So if you just want to round up a little bit, that's how much rubber he's putting on the roof. And I can honestly say I have a 2021 Integra Odyssey 24B. And I've had that since April. I put it on the road April 1st of 2021. And by September, I had hairline cracks showing at four different places in my roof system. And the problem is, is that today, as we all know, the RV dealers try to get away with as minimal as possible. So when they tell you that you have a fiberglass roof, that fiberglass may be about as thin as fiberglass gets. It may even qualify as a gel coat as opposed to a fiberglass roof. The big question is always cost. What are we talking about? per linear foot. So when we quote our system, it's never the length of the RV. Right. It's from the front seam of the roof to the back seam. Right. It's $180 per lineal foot of roof. Right. $180. Now, what that means is my 24B is 26 feet 8 inches stem to stern. But they're not quantifying it by the length of the rig. They're quantifying it by the length of the roof area that is suitable for having this product applied. So on my rig, it's probably around 22 feet, yep. give or take. 
we'll know when we measure it. And I am getting this system this year. I haven't scheduled a date yet, and I'll take care of that in the spring. But I just wanted to share this with everybody. Now, one thing he mentioned is it's a lifetime warranty. Yeah, in back of them, I see triple lifetime, guarantee. What does that mean? Well, it's a play on words. It means we're protecting the value, we're protecting the rig, and we're guaranteeing a no leak. Okay. It's just a play on marketing words. All right. And by the way, one of the cool features is I plan on putting solar panels on my rig. And they, as part of the package, will install up to two solar panels. And anything else? Oh, if you have satellite issues you want on there, if you want any type of component put on the roof, we can put it on. Right. And that's a lot of that is free of charge, up to a certain amount. Two yep. solar panels, the third one's going to cost you. But it's still very reasonable. And the other thing I wanted to ask is, let's say I uh, decide to change my uh, vent, one of my vents, and put in a max air vent. What do you, I have to do if I do that after we have this roof system If you involved? do it after we do the roof, go to any RV roof location. There are now 17 locations nationwide. Right. They can do the work because we're going to have to cut it out, put it on, mm. respray. Mm -hmm. And then if I tell my customers, if you're thinking of putting a Max Air or a Fantastic Fan, let's do it before we do the roof. Right, right. It's not that big of an investment, right. and then it's one and done. So sometimes it's better to anticipate what you're going to have done yep. and have it done all at once. Me, I'll put my Max Air Fan on before he does this. The nice thing with the new Max Air Fans is if the fan fails, the frame of the fan is stays on board right. all you got to do is replace the fan itself or the different it, components yep. that's right yep. it's a much better system once you have the frame of the fan on board you're good to go hey jim thank you very much bill it's been a pleasure it's chipper chipper we'll get his name <laughs> right my name right chipper and this is flex armor roof system triple lifetime guarantee and i wholeheartedly thank anybody that gets on your roof and looks and you feel you don't feel good about it this is the way to go and the big thing is if you are interested just go to rvroof.com you can find all the different locations just pick one that's closest to you right and i will say i have done that research and this one is the closest to me they're located out in the area of foxborough stadium where the patriots play it's not a bad ride from my house it's fairly central, centrally located for all of New England, so that's a good thing.
that's it for the New England Camping Exposition. A lot of the rigs here are towables, such as trailers and fifth wheels. And there's a few RVs, uh, Class C's or Class A's, but not many. Not like I'll see down in Tampa coming up. So that's it. Um, if you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up and a subscribe button. And as I always say, all the best to all and happy RVs.